Hello world, Deborah here. Welcome back to Deborah Does Diamonds. Glad you're back with us today. So, join me today to find out what I'm going to do with this gigantic iron. I'll see you in a few seconds. So if you were unable to join us for the live stream a couple weeks ago, um, let me just explain where I've been. So my family came down with COVID over, well, before the holidays, made for a very interesting Christmas. And um, unfortunately, hubby is still a little under the weather, even six, seven weeks later. So we won't be able to put out videos every week like we were doing, maybe every other week maybe just for another month and then hopefully we'll get back on track so I just want to let you know what was going on there and today I would like to follow up on the video how to flatten a canvas um, that was only my second video that I ever did and uh, that's the one where I was um, down at the beach outside and the cicadas were going if you haven't seen it yet check it out um, in that video, I was explaining how at the time um, I used simply my hands and the cover sheet and washi tape to outline the picture before I got started to help flatten it out. And then I ruined a picture with an iron trying to do that, and it was a disaster. But um, since then, I figured it out, and I cannot wait to share with you how to use the iron. So first, let me start by showing you um, with my beautiful seahorse picture here. Um, I'm just going to show the main camera. I showed him and talked about him on my live stream. Isn't he beautiful? So with this particular painting, this was done the old way that with just the washi tape. So um, and you can see that outlining here in black tape. And you can see it's pretty darn flat. I did not iron this canvas before I started laying the diamonds down. Let me show you the back. Okay. And you can still see a little bit of a line here and a little bit here. Um, but it's pretty flat, actually. So it has relaxed over time, and that's why it looks so good. Now, when I use just the iron and I'm starting to work on something right away, it'll probably be a little more creased than this, but it does definitely help. So anyway, I'm rambling on. Let's get started with the new picture. <laughs> so this is the Coffee Time coffee cups that I bought from Fancel's a while back, and it's been wrapped up, as you can see, so it's pretty, it's pretty rolled up pretty tight there so we're gonna use this as our example today okay let me put these aside there we go okay so as you can see uh, definitely has some wrinkles in it <laughs> especially this one that one might give us a little bit of a problem okay so we have uh, three lines on the back so let's go ahead and talk about the iron. So what I like to do with the iron, what I found out the problem was, is the moisture. It's the problem with ironing canvases is the, um, the water vapor that will affect the um, canvas around the edging, but not the glue part. So that's why you start getting little puckers around the edges here. So uh, through all of my experiments we'll call them I realize that you don't need steam in your iron so make sure there's no water in it I like to, let me show the camera here I like to have it in between halfway in between synthetics and wool or silk so maybe like a medium to medium high setting something like that okay and what we're gonna do is iron the back of the canvas then we're going to use the cover sheet as the glue cools to flatten it out even more. Okay. So first, I'm going to act like I just opened this from the company. And I'm going to straighten it out by hand before I do anything else. Because we all know that helps a little bit, right? Every little bit helps. I don't know if I'm 
trying to fit too much information in in one conversation. I feel like I'm getting out of order. So, okay. So we just got this out of the mailbox. Opened it up. Try to flatten it out as much as you can with your hands like this. Yeah, this crease here doesn't look real great either. It's pretty prevalent. Okay, let me try this way, see if this will... I'll actually sit here and do this for a good five minutes, you know, on, um, on one of my canvases when I'm first starting out. Just trying to help, help it along. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Hubby might need to edit some of this out so I don't bore you half to death <laughs> with this part. But it's important. Okay. There we go. All right. So my new way of flattening a canvas is I, I do what I just showed you there. Then we're going to iron. And then I put the washi tape on it. So between those um, three steps, you'll be good to go. Okay, so here's the back. You can see it already looks better, right? These aren't quite as prevalent. So just that little bit of straightening with the cover sheet did really well. Okay, so on to the iron. Oh, one more thing. So on the front, I used to take the time to take the cover sheet off and put the parchment paper down before ironing it. But you don't have to do that. It's fine leaving this um, plastic on, especially since we're not using the steam feature on the iron. You'll be fine. Okay. So let's get started. Um, I do this in a like a two-part, two-step uh, process, okay? So I'm just going to iron, for instance, this top half here. Okay. Just keep the iron moving. Keep it moving. Okay. Now, this will be a little warm up top here, so be careful. And while it's cooling and losing the heat, pull back your cover sheet again. Blow on it. That hardens the glue up a little bit. And then spread it back down. And then do the other half. You can see already, this top portion looks better than the bottom portion. It's amazing. So, okay, now we're going to do the bottom half. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Now, normally, if I had put steam in the iron by now, this edging would have started to pucker along the edge of the drill field, but you'll see here it's not doing that, so I think I finally figured it out. Okay, so we've done the bottom half. Let's go ahead and cool the glue down. And you'll feel the heat dissipating. I also think that this method doesn't mess with the glue as much as the parchment paper. I know the parchment paper, when you re replace the cover sheet with the parchment paper, I know it doesn't really mess the glue up to the point where you can't do the drilling with the diamonds, but you do notice it just looks a little different, um, a little drier maybe, drier glue. So, okay, so that is one round, and look how much better this looks. No trick photography today. This is live as you see it. All right, so we've done top and bottom, and now you just turn your picture sideways. Do it again, right side, left side, and then um, see where you're at. You might have to repeat these steps one more time. 
especially if you have a bigger canvas. All right. Ooh, that's looking good. And no wrinkles. Okay, flip it over. It's warm. And if you need to, if it's really bad, you can always just draw, um, move your hand in circles like this. That also helps to flatten the glue while it's uh, cooling off. Let's do this side. Okay. All right. And don't forget, do this before you put any of your diamonds down just to make sure <laughs> that they don't get messed up. Like my Fuji painting. Yeah, I'm still talking about that. Okay, so now we're doing the left side of the painting. You can do this whichever way you'd like. Okay. Yep, there we go. Can you see how shiny the glue still is? Totally unaffected. So happy to be back with you guys I'm feeling better we're just waiting on hubby to feel better so I'm ready to go okay there we are so look how lovely this painting looks with just four maybe four applications of heat look at that doesn't that look good all right, now once it's cooled, go ahead and do your washi tape around the edge. So let me know how it works for you in the comments down below, okay? I'm curious to see how your first experience is with using an iron with no steam. So last video, which was a live stream, I reviewed my very first piece of jewelry that I've tried to make with diamonds, and this is the finished product. Hold it up to my camera here. Isn't it pretty? So I don't recall the name of this right off the bat, but I will put a link in the description so that if you're interested in this Christmas tree, or I think they had pineapples, a pegasus or unicorn, very cute um, items that you can turn into jewelry. They send you a chain so you can make a necklace out of it. They also send you um, a keychain kind of contraption so you can make it a keychain. I was worried though, if I do use it as a keychain, maybe from knocking it around in the car, that I might knock some diamonds loose. So I would either use it as a necklace. The interesting thing is on the back has a magnet. There you go. It's a pretty strong magnet too. So uh, one of the folks on my live stream had a great idea to make these and turn them into cover minders. So that's a great idea. Thank you very much. Who was it that made that? You don't remember? Yeah. Oh, I'll have to go back and look it up. <laughs> so I think it might have been Drew, but I'm not 100%. But anyway, so I, I made these. I put Tombow Aqua Glue over the drill field when I was done to make it extra sparkly. And it turned out nice. So that's one thing for you to look for. And then my tip for today has to do with these green boats. So I've probably got about 40 of these now <laughs> that I don't know what to do with. Um, interestingly enough, I was in need of a diamond straightener. And I normally use something that looks like a spatula, a yellow uh, spatula type thing. And I would use that to straighten out the rows after I was done. These work great, and they come in the kit already. So try to use the edge here. Let me show you on um, a different video, a different picture here, Mr. Wolf. So just put this edge in between the two rows that you want to straighten out. Slide it back and forth. 
and it works fantastic. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, why didn't I come up with that idea ages ago? <laughs> there we go. So, yep. So that's my tip for you for today. Use your green boats to straighten out your diamonds when you're done. Okay? Very good. Okay, and we're going to take one last look at the coffee time with the coffee cups now that it's totally cooled off. Doesn't that look good? You can hardly see any wrinkles on the back at all. Look at that. And we haven't even started with washi tape or laying the drills down. It's excellent. So give that a try. Let me know how it works, okay? So thank you again for joining us today. I'm sorry it's such a short video and that we'll probably only be doing one every other week, but we'll get through the COVID thing and we'll be back as soon as we can, full, full strength. So thank you for joining us today. I appreciate that. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, we are up to 316 subscriptions. I cannot believe that. <laughs> I'm shooting for 500 by midsummer, so if you're watching today and you're interested in the videos, please hit the subscribe button. That really helps our channel. You can also hit the bell notification if you'd like to know when the next video is on its way, which is helpful since we aren't on a regular schedule right now. And let's see, thumbs up if you like the video, if you like the information about trying the iron without the steam. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that uh, it worked for you. Let me know in the comments, too. Okay, so that's it for now, folks. We'll see you next time. But in the meantime, y'all be good to one another. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm not done yet. I still have a couple more things to go over. Is it on? Okay, let's get started. Let me start over. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, I'll start over with that part. Okay, <clears throat> three, two, one. Oh, okay. So I'll just do my usual welcome, explain a little about what we're doing, and then I'll do the intro. No, the intro is part of the hello world part. Okay. All right. I'm just going to go. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> All right. You ready? Oh, where's you? Oh, he's down. All right. Don't be messing with better not knock this iron over is all I have to say. Malachi. Okay. All right. You ready? <laughs> Hello world. Deborah here. Welcome back to Deborah Does Diamonds. So please come join me to see what I'm going to do with this gigantic iron. I'll see you in a few minutes. Ooh, it should be seconds. So now we can move on. Okay. Yeah, okay, yep. And then uh, we'll, I'll stop talking. I know, right? I was really kicking butt. Should I do that part of That's for the B-roll. So first, <laughs> I'm just so excited. <gasps> Ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. Okay. That's not working. Okay, just cut that whole part out. 